Guys, Ginter is finally here. We are about to start case break number one of the new 2020 Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball. It was by teams, so here are your teams. I'm going to try to get through the spiel. Ryan's going to just fix everything that I mess up. So um, let's remember that box toppers, the oversized, will be in a lot random at the end. Uh, the N43s do go with the team. If there's a box topper rip card, it goes with the team. All of the non-baseball hits and minis will all be in lots. Um, maybe you could explain that better than I am saying. So I will go ahead and get this open and he can go over with the lots that we're going to random. So at the end of the break, we're going to random all the insert lots. So the down in the farm insert, you've got like a single lot, reach for the sky, nine ways to reach first, uh, booming city, bugging out, singles, and safe holds, safari sites, uh, what am I missing? Uh, where monsters live. Each one of those is going to be its own lot that's going to be random among all teams at the end. So 30 teams in the break, we're hoping at least... You know, 15 or so teams get a bonus insert lot or a bonus hit. That sounded good. That sounded... I think most people know how we do these. Yeah. There's always new people, though. Not our first Ginter rodeo. For most of them. It's not. Yeah, a lot of the minis are pretty rare. It's a little different than in the previous years. Um, and, of course, we need to address the elephant in the room. Let's get the elephant out of the room. <laughs> Trying to do a dinner break. <laughs> uh, we do know that Tops did mess up on packing this out. The stained glass cards are only in the oversized box toppers, the rip toppers. So hopefully we'll see one of those. Um, if you do get an oversized rip topper, all three cards are going to be stained glass. This is not a box topper. Right. Just a normal one. Regular flavor? Regular flavor. Yeah, I gotta get that focus going. That is... Hold on. What are we doing here? We gotta be ready for this. You were talking about all the lots. How about a Robert for the first one? That will go to the box topper lot. Beautiful. Alright. Mm. Okay, good. Oh, look, a cardinal right off the... Right at the top. Oh, and a rip card. First pack rip card? Yep. Okay. Jose Altuve, who's got Houston. Cool breeze. 96 of 99 start out with a rip card. And I'm going to say I love the design of the rip cards. I love the flowers. I love the detail. I love the wood grain, like, in the background. I'm obsessed with them. I'm going to try not to spoil all my other opinions. I don't. I've only, I haven't seen everything, but... I've seen some stuff, and I love a lot of the design uh, aspects this year. Cool Breeze this year. He says, rip it. I kind of... Oh, no. We're starting... <laughs> <laughs> I thought I might get away with a couple of them before we started that. <laughs> All right. You, you, yeah. Cool Breeze knows the rule. Anytime that uh, you want us to rip the rip card, you got to confirm it. You got to say it twice so we know. You did say it twice. Uh, so uh, here we go. I wasn't ready for this. First pack. UCCF already flipped over in his shower chair. <laughs> <laughs> one pack, one rip card, one rip. Here we go. All right. Let's try this. And I will prepare us with our custom made for us and the rest of the world BCW mini top loaders. Wow, they sh it's showing. Like, I feel like usually there's a, um, a uh, sheet of paper that, like, hides the card, isn't there? Uh, there usually is. Yeah, what's with that? I guess the paper's on the other side. You only have to block one side for the light to not get through. Oh, okay. So I see what you're saying. Back. Ooh, that's weird. Well, we see who it is. That's a yeah, nice one. It is. Um, and I hate doing this, but you guys can see that, right? There it is. See it? So it is a bummer, but every single mini out of the rips is going to have that. So it's not really a defect for this card. Every card has that. It's just the way they put it together. I hadn't seen it for myself yet. I had not ripped it. I mean, you can only see it really when you get it in the right light. Yeah, it does have that indentation. But it does, yeah, it does have it. 
That's so weird. Still, Soto's a yeah, nice one Yeah, that's a great get. one. And, of course, we're going to put that in the yes. mini top loader. It opened pretty nice. Oh, I see. There's the dark yeah, the paper secret. they put in this year. No cheating. Not that it was always that easy to see through. Some years were a little thinner than others. Here's our first mini. There we go. Awesome. How you feeling, UCCF? There's a uh, high number green for the Dodgers. Uh, Booming Cities. That's one of the rarer minis, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think most of them are about one in 50 packs. A Shanghai Booming Cities. This is going to be one of the lots that we random at the end. Uh, so will this. This Digging Deep. And then I didn't show this. This is the last um, pack. This one is the Reach for the Sky. It's all different heights uh, towers tallest skyscrapers in the world and this is a lot like the airplanes last year if you get the whole set of those they kind of make a panoramic photo they all go together i might see if i could put them together and make a uh, little video of that for you guys to see just because not? not all of you are going to put you know the set together like that so it'd be cool um for you guys to get to see it or just for myself because i want to see it it's all about jewels oh here's another one of the uh <laughs> <laughs> insert sets down on the farm so it's got some cute pictures i feel like this is a very thin pig is that just me or does it look like it's i don't know uh, fat shaming the pig already. i feel like no i'm saying he's a thin pig <laughs> i'm skinny shaming the pig uh beef him up yeah he looks he looks like he's lost some weight so what do you guys think of the base cards I think they look very nice. Um, I just don't think they look like baseball cards. It's like they made a really nice frame, and then it looks like, you know, they slipped a photograph in it. Like, we're looking at a kind of like a display. I think it's visually very appealing. Um, it just doesn't look like Ginter base for me. But like Ryan said, it's nice that they did something a little different, you know, while still keeping in the style. Yeah, change it up a little bit. There's a uh, short print Eckersley. Ooh, this is our first um, Alan and Ginter back. By far, favorite. Ryan's favorite. I want to do this set of Ginter back minis just because I love that logo. I do love them. I like how they're doing all of the kind of shadowing details in, in all of the, um, like, font. I don't know. It just, I like the detailing um, of it this time. It's not as much floral as it has been in the past to me, but um, just very intricate, very pretty. It is very artistic. It's fancy. That's another thing. Yeah, it's very fancy. Um, and I very, I really like those. Eh. And of course, that one's yours, Mississippi, at Kofax. Yes. Thank you, Ryan. That's important. Like, I like going through a little bit of these. You guys know how I am with, with Ginter. I love it. Um, I think this is very cool, too. Um, very full color. It almost looks like more of a poster to me than it does a baseball card. But, um... Uh, again, I like the coloring. I like the details. Like the top looks like a little bit of like Pirates of the Caribbean kind of <laughs> that background. I just really like those. Yeah, on the base, the rookie cards in a weird. The rookie card logo is odd. Let's see if we get one in here. Nope. It's also kind of odd that the short print card, the mini, and the insert are all at the back of the pack this year. Field generals. Kind of tucked in at the end. Simple insert. Haven't seen that one, Tim. I gotta look for that. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen that either. Oh, there's a rookie card. So, it just, it feels like it should be, like, sitting out here, you know, or up here in the corner. Um, but that's where they put it, so. It is a little bit different. There's a short print Tremel. High number. Uh, debut to remember is another one of the insert sets. Kind of tells a little story, you know, about the debut of each of the players. I like that. I like ones that tell you, you know, you learn little things from them. Tall buildings. <laughs> Iron Chef, you were only three packs in. You haven't missed a whole lot. Just uh, Altuve rip card so far. Mini Gitter. 
done. There's another one of the uh, statue or the uh, skyscrapers. Reach, reach for the sky skyscrapers. Yeah. Empire State Building. I don't think those went together, did they? Those two. All right. I think I'm about ready to at least start opening them a little bit more normal. But, oh, this one. Okay. There's a Carrie Wood short print. He looks not happy. At least he's not looking into me. Well, he does kind of look cross with me still. Maybe he looked into my soul and now he's just upset with what he found. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> so this is my favorite mini so far. Um, Where Monsters Live. And it, of course, is Glow in the Dark like that one a couple years ago. Yeah, I don't know if you could tell, but the top, you can you see can some kind of, of the, see. Yeah, indents on there, Glow in the Dark. And then that part at the top where it says Where Monsters Live with the gargoyles, that's Glow in the Dark as well. Yeah. I love the glow in the dark cards. I did experiment with those a little bit last night. You have to keep them in the light for quite a while to get them fully glowy. Yeah, there's not a ton of um, glowy, is where I put it. There's not, not a ton of glowy. Not exceptionally <laughs> luminescent. Oh, and the uh, relic cards, very different, I think. It's not at all what they normally look like. Yeah, new design. A studio. For Minnesota, Tim A. Yeah, I don't know. It's it just makes it feel like I'm getting something different to me. This, even though it's just your base. No. Well, and of course, there's two designs like they've done in the past. There's A relics and B relics. This one was one of the B relics. Let's see if we pull an A. Short print, Mazeroski. Franco, Kintraback. Yeah, I really very much am enjoying this year's design. Yay, the swamp where monsters live. Again, that's going to the lot. It's random. The book. Yeah, we we've pulled we pulled it from Mississippi a few years ago, I think. Uh, Jenkins short print. Do you want me to pull the short prints? You do, right? To yeah, make it's it easier. easier. I mean, all yeah. those ship, so. Yeah. It's easier to keep them in a separate pile. It's just an advertisement for the code. Advertisement. Yeah, advertisement. Get Your Code is back, so. Cecil Fielder. Apparently this year, at least most of it, it seems to be on Twitter. So well, it was all on Twitter in the last few years, too. Was it? Yeah. They, yeah, I haven't. I mean, you have to use the, the cards to sell the code, but all the codes are online. Short print bunning. And this is the black border parallel this year. Um, this one was a lot, uh, what do I want to say? Usually I feel like they're much darker. You know, they're more black um, than this one is. But I really love, again, the intricate, like, doodle design. So it's more of a black border instead of a black frame parallel like they used to be. Yeah. I like it. There's a Rizzo, ECCF. It's a mini Rizzo. <laughs> I don't think Yaddy be around here. You never know, I guess. It's a short print. Uh, Babe Ruth, Ginterback. We're going to see if I can remember to look for the no number Ginterback minis this year. Every year those get you. It's always the one I forget. Oh, there's the other style for the relics a style the a style this one looks more flat or something like i don't know john means so there you can compare the two yeah hold on there's some nice hay bale of hay for the down on the farm yeah you guys know the first case was go real slow we'll talk about all the cards and we'll pick it up after this yeah so the A and B for the relics. I think I like this one. I think I like B. I like them both. I mean, at least they're both different, you know? I'm more of an A type, I think. I think I like B better. Divorce. <laughs> it's over. Forget you. That's what did it. Get your relics. Into it. Be understandable. Williams, high number. Yeah, I mean, for a relic card... 
I know they're not always the most desirable poles, but at least it's a neat look this year. <laughs> there will be plenty of breaks to look at that where I go really fast. This is not going to be the one. Uh, Devers, get your back. I like to spend some time on the first one because um, some people will actually want to watch the break just to see the cards. So I, I want to uh, have a chance to kind of enjoy them. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> Earth's Dad? I mean, not everybody. You just want to rip. Um, another Where Monsters Live Under the Stairs. You can see him. You can see the monster. I am, if after the Blues, Dallas Stars would be my second team, if that counts as being a fan. Does that count? I mean, we're going to uh, cheer for them in the yeah. finals. Aaron Blackboarder. And get your release divorce. Kiner, short print. So I'm assuming there's digging deep uh, relics, right? With the stones? Yep. Okay. That, I'd love to see one of those, obviously. Well, since I'm sure everybody read the description, Cow. those go in Jules' pocket. Yeah, those know. are all mine. They're jewels. So, well, they're not really jewels, but you know, it's close enough. It's a pretty rock, and that's, that's all that matters. Bunsen, high number. Ooh. There's a bugging out. It's the first one of these I've seen. Giraffe weevil. That giraffe weevil is totally bugging out. Toad's bugging out. Look at him. Oh, I see the little ants are holding up the no, the letters on that log. See that? That's kind of cute. Kind of creepy. Not really, don't love ants so much, but those are cute. So that'll be another lot. I'm not giving out my Ginter minis for Halloween. I don't give out anything. I buy candy and keep it. We don't get trick-or-treaters around here, so I get to eat all my candy. Every year she picks up three, four, five bags of candy. You never know. This could be the year. <laughs> this, this could be, be it. <laughs> 14 years later, I think we've had a total of three trick-or-treaters in our life. Uh-huh. Happy bias. He's winking at us. Do you see that? He is winking. He is winking. So, in my personal box I did, I got a Jacob de Grom. First cutie card of the of the break for me. You guys, hopefully you'll get to see it. He looks adorable. Aw, I didn't flip it. Yeah, what is the deal with this hand, anyway? I thought that was a batting glove at first, but uh, nope. Oh, he's got he's like all a lot up. of tattoos. Yep. I did not know that. Uh, Jansen for the Dodgers, Mississippi. Relic card. Yeah, Dodgers have a lot in this. Dodgers, Yankees. Relic fingers, high number. Ooh, safari sites. So we had a giraffe, weevil, and uh, a giraffe. Safari sites. That's cool. It's simple, but it looks nice. Hey, JP. Oh, man. Was I flipping the pack before? Make sure that last card isn't a high number. I forgot to look on that one. It is not. Francisco Lindor. Short print. A Chapman Ginter back mini. Are we talking about Thanksgiving already? How did we go straight from... We started with Halloween and then immediately somehow jumped to Thanksgiving. Jittery? I did have an energy drink, but I didn't think it would have time to kick in yet. You had about two I had like sips two sips of, of energy drink, yeah, I should say. I was going to say you did not have an energy drink. Uh, I never cipada. I think you're just used to Sam and Omni, and then I come in and I seem like I have energy and I'm alive, maybe. Oh. Oh, I'm just teasing. No, I, I am jittery. Uh, Baez. Ginter back. Oh man, why do I keep doing that? 
Sahara. So, uh, that's a high number. I guess there are a lot of these where monsters live. Um, Halloween. It's supposed to be about two per box, I think is what the odds are showing. I like it. So that'll be a lot of 24. And that's something else we're going to do with the lots. We've done that in the past. Um, if we do get multiple sets... Oh, oh, there we go. A first framed relic. A harbor. Man, that's a very, like, burgundy red. When do they... That's their uniform? I didn't realize it was that well, dark. they have different... I don't know. This one is odd to me. Like, I think they look nice, but they're very simple um, to me. <laughs> His ugly Christmas sweater. It, it does. It looks like a, like a wine color or something. Is that? Oh, okay. So it's, it's one of the, like, the old, I kind of like the Cardinals do the blue. Um, whatever it is. Acuna, Kinterback. The, whatever, it's the 80s, the, what's it called? What do you always call it? The baby blue. That's what you're trying to say. Uh, old trunk. That's kind of creepy. It looks like the fingers are not attached to anything. Don't like that one as much. Anyway, what I was saying before the relic came out, um, if we do get multiple sets of inserts, if we're able to make more than one set, we will add those to hitless teams at the end. So we'll go ahead and do the random for all the inserts at the end of this, but instead of sending somebody just two of the same insert sets, it would be nice to share the wealth a little and give it to one additional team. So we will be doing that on all these breaks. This is another one of the minis I really, really like. The nine ways to first, but it kind of looks like a ticket. I think that one's super cool. I just really like, I feel like they spend a lot of time changing up the design, um, kind of doing something neater this year. I wouldn't say neater, um, I don't know, more complex maybe? I don't know. Conseco. High number short print and Anderson, black border parallel for the White Sox. Oh, dog. I guess all farms have dogs. I guess a lot of them do to herd. Never seen a farm without a dog. It's an insert set. Yep. Yeah, you missed my spiel in the first two minutes, Tim. All the, uh, if it doesn't have a team name on it, all the minis are going to be their own. It's set to be randomed at the end. Soroka Ginterback mini. Oh, there's a sideways long ball card. That's kind of different. Some, I wasn't expecting to see... Uh, I would have assumed all the inserts would have the same... Totally forgot the word now. I think I'd be used to it, Tim, but... A Gordon Sneaky Royals hit. He looks like he's very afraid of something coming from behind him. Uh, Kansas City, Tim A. Relic card. Another dog. The long balls do go to the team, I believe, because it has, yeah, it has actual player names and, and teams on it. High number Williams. Show it in a second. So the long ball, because it does have a player name, and if you flip it over, it has a team associated with it, those will go to the team spot. I forgot what they were last year that was like that. Edwards, Ginter back. There's a Bryant long ball, UCCF. He's not hit many of those this year. Oh, what is the deal with Bryant? Is it his wrist? Walker. He's struggling. Black Parallel Suarez. Yeah, the, it was a weird image.
<laughs> yeah, we try to keep Ginter the same every year. Yeah. Not to make it overcomplicated. Howard, Black Parallel. Just assume everything goes to the team unless I say it doesn't, or unless I forgot to say that it doesn't, or unless we make a rule halfway through the break. But Tractor, we don't do that. It's actually all in the description. So I know you guys all took the time to read that. Nobody read the description on this one. I put a lot of effort into that description on this break. I didn't even read the description. I know you don't. Alu, I never, ooh, a uh, Citadels and Safe Holds. It's cool. Citadels and Safe Holds. That is yet another mini lot that will be randomed at the end. There was no time to read it. That's actually <laughs> kind of accurate. We're going to open these first. I don't know why I was not doing that. It's easier for me if I do. Kershaw. Very serious looking Kershaw. What do you guys think of the box topper design? Curious. I told Jules it looks like my uh, grandma's pictures from the 1930s. Does. The old silver frames sitting on the panel. It just looks kind of um, like gothic. Too. Oh, this is a uh, hot box. Hot box. This is very different. Kind of like a rainbow foil. Short print for the White Sox. Well, they're all shipping, so we don't have to pull those out. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Every hot box card is shipping. Don't worry about that. Yeah, the box covers do. They are simple. Um, hot box Rizzo. Def hot box. <laughs> see if I can find any of the top rookies in here, too. Oh, how about a autograph, mini framed auto? Corbin for the Nationals. UCCF. Patrick Corbin. All right, AGP. Catch you later. Yeah, Baron Patrick Corbin. I, I wish UCCF. That's a really nice uh, looking card. But I always love the mini frame stuff. I think it's great. Kyle Ripken. Ginterback. Well, they have almost like a... I'm not going to call it a matting, but almost like a frame inside the frame. Mm -hmm. It's like that dark material they put in for the... Uh... Well, if you look real close, it's just a border they put on the card. It's like a black line that oh. takes some of the floating space out of it. Tremel, high number. Yep, yeah, check that out when you get your cards. They're pretty cool. There is a Tokyo Booming Cities. I definitely really like that one. Barn, that makes sense for farm. <laughs> Those vests. The vests are terrible. He hasn't been wearing them, though, lately, has he? Ahmed. Barn. Black border. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like when you pull a cow's card. You gotta go, cows. Well, we do do the thing where when you see cows on a road... Hey, there's no mini. Wood. High number. Farm animal relics. Uh oh, I don't think we want any of those. Chunko chicken. Snell, get your back. We got cats. <laughs> uh, oh, well, there's our mini nice. that we missed. It's a short print, Lasorda. High number. Anyway, we have a The Ocean, where monsters live, and a get your back, Altuve. And a pig. Another piggy. Oh my god. That was Ryan, in case anyone was curious. That was not me. So the down on the farm, uh, since we're already starting to get a lot of duplicates, we'll probably have two separate lots for that one. Just to share the wealth a little. Hey, hippie. High number short print green. And a Paul Goldschmidt. That's just a normal card. 
Kirk Pryor. Oh, and Duhar. Relic for the Yankees. Iron Sheffy and Duhar Relic. Oh, Lord. Brian and Mikey re reuniting. Munson, high number. Oh, uh, there's Derek Gould. Mini. Oh, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one. Clock Tower. That is <laughs> you. <laughs> what happened to Sam Brown anyway? You just kind of fall off the face of the earth. There's our makeup again. Makeup mini. Yep. A nine wasted first for the lot. Romuto, Kinterback. That is a night, hippie. High number, Mazeroski. And the swamp, where monsters live. Glow in the dark. Chicken. So we've got a pig, a cow, two dogs, a barn, a bale of hay. Is that about where we're, where we are with our farm? What else do farms have? I'm not saying, well, what else do we have so far? I think that's all we had. Oh, that's all we pulled? Yeah. Old McDonald isn't there yet, but I think it, we'll be getting to him, I suppose. Another Ma makeup. Uh, moonshine is that on the farm. Mm, my farm would be. Arl Stein Mini. Segura Black Border Parallel. There is a farmer card. Oh, good. Are there baby goats in pajamas? Because that's also got to be on a farm, right? Uh, short print or stead. Oh, silo. I think we got a couple of silos now, actually. No ghosts. Unacceptable. Redemption for some pork rinds, maybe. Keep checking the hotbox cards, hoping we get one of the top rookies. I'm not seeing any Robert or Kyle Lewis. I've been trying to pay attention to them, too. That's Yamamoto. Kiner. High number. And another bugging out. Silk Moth. These things look kind of creepy. Got a Dunn and a Dubon. Chivas for Boston. <laughs> Lee Hoyle. Boop the bug. Boop the bug. <laughs> I'd really rather not. I don't know if or what I'd rather do least. Boop the bug or rip the rip card. Kershaw. Black Border Mini. Did you rip a baby goat rip card? No. No I'm, no way would I do that. Thank gosh they didn't make that. There's an Aquino. Another Bryant Long Ball. Yeah, That would be about right in 2020, UCCF. There's our Makeup Mini. So a Stanton. Get your back. So weird. Williams, high number. It's weird how the hot box cards have like different shades to them. Do they? Oh, I see it. Yeah, the brown is different color on the font. Kind of odd. Extra minis. Just piles oh. of random minis. There's an N43. N43. Okay, what is happening here? Pass. Breaker issue. No. <sighs> Never. Not me. Just do everything perfectly all the time. First N43. Harper. Looks very similar to last year's, but like simpler. Mm -hmm. Like less around it, but it's very close to this card. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Wait, why are we talking about makeup? I missed something. Talking about all the makeup minis. Oh, I got it. 
Uh, Huston. For, what is it? Oh, he's a skateboarder. Yeah. I, duh. So these are the cards that will be randomed at the end among all teams. So doesn't matter if you have the uh, most expensive or the cheapest. You have a shot at the non-baseball cards. Yeah. Is that our first non-baseball hit? It is. Crazy. There's another new tower. And I think you guys like that way. Would you rather have it where we random all that among all the teams like we have been as opposed to having one super expensive non-baseball spot? Another booming cities. Just kind of feels more fair this way. Everyone gets a shot at it. Add some value to every spot. Oh, cow. There's a cow for our farm. Alright, sounds like everyone likes it. Gives everyone hope. I agree, that's how I would like it. Yeah. Carrie Wood, high number? I just know some breakers do it where they just charge for a super expensive non baseball spot. Mazzara. I don't know. It's I don't like it. Yeah, mo the m more people will be happier this way. I would think. Cow. <laughs> oh man, it was a Brooklyn back. Jeez. Number to 25. And jumped out of there. Well, jumped. Wanted to be seen, apparently. Well, you know what that gets. Lincecum. I don't... They used a pen that kind of bled a little bit. Another one of our uh, custom-made, mass-produced BCW tobacco-sized top loaders. Look at the Giants. Jason. Short print Gooden. And there we go. There we go. He's got a little top loader now. Party. For that Brooklyn back to 25. Now let's come to some of those guys who just poof, he was done. Hamels, Ginter back. Kind of ironic. Earlier today, I just found a uh, Linscom Bowman Chrome Auto that I had. I was cleaning the basement. High number short print for the White Sox. Oh, this one's cool. A dark tunnel. You could tell that one's going to have way more glow in the dark stuff. See all that? I was going to say that way more monsters than dark tunnel. Well, that too. But this one's going to glow in the dark real well. I, I like it. Feel a lot more monsters in a dark tunnel than you can't under the stairs. Unless it's like a you know clown car under the stairs that just keep pouring out. Gross. Dark tunnel. Put like hundreds of them down there. It's disturbing. I don't know what's more disturbing. The tunnel of them or the clown under... Clown car under the stairs. Yeah, that's a disturbing Clown thought. stairs. There's monsters <laughs> pouring out everywhere. Paddock. Black border. Oh, I've done it, UCCF. I can't believe you didn't do it. I told you, I, I opened it up, I put a date on it, and tried to see how long it would last. Should have put the hours on it. Oh, it, it actually, I think it almost went... Three like hours? 12 days or something. Right. Almost made it two weeks. But I also kept them at work, so that helped. If they were home, it wouldn't have been half that. Uh, Lau for Tampa Bay. Oku. Relic. It's a Kyle Lewis Mini. Seattle. Include the time. No flavor blasted. Ugh, would you stop with that nonsense? Short print Bunning. Lorenzo Kane. Kinterback. The Attic. Where monsters live. Very creepy girl or doll in that chair. I don't like that one either. That one's scary. Super scary. High number die. <laughs> I think I've looked at my attic once ever. I've been here a long time. 
Yeah, it's like a giant antenna up there. Yeah, old TV antenna or whatever. Munson. Hennifer. Oh, there's an irrigator. That's exciting for our whatever crop we're growing. Yeah, we keep saying someday we're going to go up there and look around. Hope the old people who lived here before us, like, stash money or something. Eckersley. Couple number. Wagner 206 is up there. Yeah. Alamar and Trebek. Yeah, that is where the monsters live. Jules Attic. That's that my brain you're talking about? <laughs> where the monsters live? Find some mixer boxes up there, too. Uh, Hap. Relic for the Yankees for the pinstripe. Iron Sheffy. Up, oh, yep, cornstalk. Definitely irrigating some corn or carn. <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> We're not attic mixering. Kiner. High number. I'm in. I thought we were scared of attics. Now you want now you want stuff from the attic? Yeah, what's going to be Make up there? your mind. Shh, Mikey, don't tell her. Baseball Brit, high number. Or, get your back, sorry. Welcome to the non-baseball mini lot. It's true. Oh, so it's okay if something comes from the attic, as long as we're not in the attic. Munson, high number. Ooh, under the bed. Yep, that's exactly what we all imagined. See those hands coming out? That's why you gotta hide under the blankets. You're invincible once you're under the blankets. Yeah, that is super creepy. That monster has human arms that are like massive with veins. It's very creepy. I really like those cards, and now they're a little bit disturbing. <laughs> but yeah, don't show that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just move on from that one. <laughs> Ryu, Black Border. I've been in this one. Have you guys been up in the Willis Tower? I still can't believe I talked myself into going out on that ledge. Glass floor. Yeah, it was a mistake. Should have seen her trying to get off that ledge. Mazeroski. I'm sure you guys, those of you who have been around have heard that story. And a Mazeroski mini. That was terrifying. Yeah, they call it the Willis Tower. No. It was the Willis Tower when we went. Oh, and a horse. We got a horse for our farm. Tim Lighting. <laughs> uh, I have things I want to say, but I won't. Jenkins, high number. Uh, bugging out Bumblebee. That's cute. Even though I'm scared of bees. Still a cute picture. Little Bumblebee. Was a Robert rookie in that last one too? Oh, nice. Got that on top loaded. Good job. Catching all the rookies. Oh, that's a rip. Box topper. Uh oh. Triple stained glass. I'm going to set it down. Oh boy. And then we're going to do it. Well, we're going to open it up and see who got it. We don't know that we're going to be opening it. People were saying this year with the value of the stained glass cards, it makes a lot more sense to rip those than save them at this point. But people might want to rip them themselves. It is... Oh, Juan Soto. Soto. That is a UCCF rip. Oh, man. UCCF. Rip it or keep it. So does that thing have a number Genuine on it or what? Card. I don't see. I don't think the toppers do. Yeah, I don't see any numbering on them. Inside this card will be, well, just scratch Scratch all everything off. else yeah. off. <laughs> That's all wrong. <laughs> all right. Be three he said yachty. it twice, right? Even though I know it's he wants it. Three Yachty stained glass cards. I hope so. All right. This one's always the hardest to do. I can already see who they are. Oh, it's set up. Yeah, it is the same as It's me. the same. Except for, like, they don't have any paper over anything this year. 
Well, it's on the wrong side. That's what they messed up on. We get mini top loaders, mini sleeves ready for these. This is so stressful. I've got plenty of time. This this takes Jules about (laughs) five minutes. I hate tearing into the card. It's the worst. Tears going down her face at the moment. I hate it so much. Uh, if you go back and look at previous Ginter breaks on last couple years, you can see it's like a two-hour break, but 45 minutes is just opening the rip card. It's just painful. It is very painful for me. All right. Scherzer is our first stained glass card. Beautiful. It's very nice. Let's see if we can get that in a little top loader. I really wanted to... Um, really doesn't want to come up from the middle so I guess we're gonna go from the top this thing's just it needs to be buried with a closed casket it's terrible oh how about a Tatis yay I am I never ripped into gifts as a kid I was always that type of person and a Lindor. Let's all let Ryan uh, take that here. Put that last one in. All right. Look at those. Here we go. Beautiful. How about that? These look too much alike. They need to go in this order. There. Now they're prettier. I think I was reading that there has not been a single stained glass that has sold for under 80 bucks yet. Jeez, that makes those so, things crazy. A lot of people are ripping these things as opposed to keeping them intact. I could make a church. You could. I mean, we'll send you the shrapnel oh. of the rip card. But another um, one. They're just Mets. going nonstop. Edit droid. A Mets rip card numbered 87 of 99. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> no one. No one. <laughs> Everyone wants to rip. We just we just went through a painful uh, a painful process of a box topper. Jules is going to need about 10 minutes uh, here. Let me just take a drink of water. Hold on. <laughs> water. I know. I didn't recover at all. My adrenaline's still pumping. <clears throat> okay. Let's do it. You know how Brock Lesnar has those uh, Suplex City t-shirts? Yeah. We should get Rip City t-shirts. CSB Rip City. Yeah. Ginter 2020. Oh, man. Oh, I see ink! I see red ink! Look at this! I can't see who it is for sure. Get psyched at it. Oh, man. Now I gotta really be careful. Oh, the 10. Oh, man. Hold on. I'm going to open that up enough to really get that out of there. There it is. Red K. ink. Anthony K. Rookie. Four of ten. Oh my god, how awesome. I think that's our first red ink we've pulled out of... Uh, second. Second? Yep. That's awesome. Go ahead and put that in something. And then we can take a look at it. Man, that was so cool. Congrats, Edit. It's been a while since, yeah, a long time since we've gotten a red ink out of these. There we go. Here's yours, Edit. So cool. I'm so glad you had us rip it. Hey. Get some super glue back on this rip card. <laughs> Duct tape. Cepeda. Shove it all back High together. High number. Aw. Look, it's a Liger Cub. <laughs> Safari Sites. Little Liger. You two people are going to be like, what is she talking about? I bet they say that a lot if they're watching my breaks. Yeah, you two people, we're sorry we can't see the uh, YouTube chat, r- chat right now. We try to keep it all on Twitch. We'll try to see if we can get that working in the future. But A rooster for the farm. <laughs> <Rawr>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So he didn't go right there. Wow. They didn't have very loud row. Tahana, high number. Uh, Ahmed Ginterback. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I do know. Thank you. And I love how easy these packs open. Make me so happy. Williams. The things that you appreciate as a breaker. I mean, I'm sure anybody who opens up a lot of cards appreciates it too, but I never realized how bad it was until I started breaking. It's very different. Ben and Tendi, get your back. So pretty much we figured out that the way these packs work, it's the last three cards are really the ones that we're looking at. Yeah, it's, it, if it's a high number short print, it's going to be this card, which it is. And we'll or have set. either a hit or an insert or a mini back there. Uh, we do monsters live the ocean. Oh, it's like answering the question. I took me this long to realize that was the uh, what it was doing. Turquoise. Uh, digging deep. Uh, Braun. Relic card for Milwaukee. Next ten. I really like those long ball cards. I know I already said it like three times, but I just do. Kanseiko. What am I doing here? Making too many piles again. Peterson, Kinder back. He looks odd in that picture. I think his head's too big for his body. Oh, there's Wong, Ryan. That's my boy. The Swamp. Looks like signs or something. That was a creepy movie. It's a short print. Reigns. And a Nine Ways to First. Single. Tractor again. Got a lot of tractors on the phone. We've definitely been in a swamp. We've gone through the Florida swamps before in an airboat, and then Raleigh Fingers, high number. Blackboard Kendrick. And then, um, what else did we go through swamps? New Orleans. When we went through those walks in this yeah, that park. Yeah, died. Uh, yeah. Yeah. More or less that time. Yeah, yeah, we're both a big fan. Yep, we did that. That was after our that was our honeymoon or was that our anniversary? I think it was our honeymoon. We did that. Uh high number door. Scurry. Black or uh Ginter back. Is it weird to call it an airboat? That's what they're called, right? I feel like that's one of those weird things that maybe I say that isn't accurate. No, Barry Larkin, mini framed relic for Cincinnati. Ranking, Larkin mini framed relic. I'm a fan of mini framed relics this year. We went on a cruise for our, oh, there's our farmer. Finally got a farmer. Look at that guy. That is totally a farmer. I feel like he should know better than to be outside without a hat on. He's a farmer, right? He usually wear hats. How many He's... farmers have you known? I don't know. If you're a farmer, you're wearing a hat. I just feel like they wear hats outside to protect themselves. He's the got sun. his overalls on. Yeah. I don't know what that has to do with his hat, though. Part of the farmer outfit. Anyway, we, were gonna, we wanted a cruise for our... <laughs> Doc from the back. Uh, honeymoon. It's a short print. High number. And when we came back, um, they had things like you could do in Florida, like excursions or whatever, as part of the cruise. And we did an airboat ride. It's kind of an extra thing. Before we went home. It was fun, actually. I really liked it. Let's come. Kinterback, Mini. Where is Doc? 
Doc always shows up for the very last break of the night. It's true. And then he regrets it because it's Pokemon or something. Yeah, he's like, what is this? <laughs> Alu, uh, high number. Bichette, <clears throat> rookie black parallel mini. Now you see, I'm saving that for maybe our 20th. I think that would be about done with them at that point. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Hunter. <clears throat> Fake name. Fake first name, Hunter. High number. Sucks, yeah. Oh, another dog. Got three dogs now. Yeah, I'm one of those people who tracks mosquitoes like nonstop. Like he's not exaggerating. Like it's exponentially worse than anyone else that will be wherever we are. Fly eleven, high number. Last time we were outside with our friends many years ago or whatever it was. <laughs> sat around the fire pit. And think... Citadels hold on. Citadels and safe holds uh castle for the mini. Jules ended up getting a mosquito bite on her wrist or something, and I think one of our friends got a mosquito bite as well. And I had no less than 40 of them. I think I really had maybe six or seven, and Ryan probably literally had 40. That was just my right leg. It was really, really, really bad. I don't know what we're going to do with them. I made a sugar. Yeah, that's what it is. Such a sweetie. Boba Shet for the box topper lot. Just looking at the positives. Right, apparently it's certain people with a specific blood type that attract mosquitoes. Beady. Beady? Beady. Let's see it. Eight different ways. Uh, Dodgers. Mississippi. Mini framed auto. Time to feast. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, now I see what you're talking about. It does have like a... It makes it look like there's a mat in there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But whatever that blood type is that attracts mosquitoes, apparently those people are also more resistant to COVID. That's what I read. So I'm taking the... Uh, oh. Jones, my number. One. Nine ways to first hit by pitch. I already forgot which ones we had. Single and hit by pitch. That's all I remember now. Uh, single, fielder's choice, catcher's interference, and now hit by pitch. So you got four of the nine. We're not even halfway through the case. Another bale of hay for the farm. Of course, it's going to have some food for the winter. Hi, number Howard. Guerrero. Vladdy Ginterback. Not a UCCF, it's the pack of hot dogs there are, in your back pocket. Mm, that was, there are things I want to say. <clears throat> it's really hard. Uh, Gonzalez, high number short print. Mm. I'm trying. Cohen, Ginter back. <laughs> it's Feller, high number. That would it would have been not nice. Uh, the attic where monsters live for the mini lots. <laughs> that corporate memo we got. Yeah. Trying to be good. Cabrera. Mini framed relic. For Detroit, Mississippi. Mini framed auto and then a mini framed relic, Mississippi. So neat. Uh, 
uh, Perez. High number. Good to back, Clevenger. Uh, where monsters live. So based on the rate that the monsters are coming out, that might be split into two lots as well. That's what I'm thinking. Gossage, high number. Yeah, monsters, I think is a 10 card set. We'll definitely have enough for two. So we'll do two monster mini lots. Yay. A no-numbered Ginterbeck Mini. You found one. Yay, DeGrom. I did it. For the Mets. And a droid. That's a nice one, too. Got a red ink mini. And then a Ginterbeck no-number mini. And yes, that gets the mini top loader. That was a picture, I think, DeGrom. Close to the one he has on his box topper that I thought was cute. Another irrigator. Going up. High number Vaughn. Black Border Smoltz. So as of right now, 16 teams are going to be getting a second or a bonus item, I should say. And still, we're not halfway through the case. Yep. It's one of the other best parts about Ginter. It's how many people get to share the wealth. Everybody gets bonus stuff. Lofton, high number. Chris Davis, Ginterback Mini. A Frazier for the Yankees. Relic. Uh, Iron Sheffy. Frazier Relic. Not a Frazier Relic, but you know. Another silo. Gooden, high number. Another long ball. Mini at Zito, Kinterback. High number, uh, Ardones, maybe? I had said his name the first four times I got it, but I figured I should probably try this time. Garrick Blackboarder. Ordonez? Ordonez. I know that name, but that's not what I thought it looked like. Ordonez. Miglio <laughs> Ordonez. Is a Lasorda. High number. So I keep hoping that one of these cases is going to be one of those uh, rumored Ginter hot cases. Another farmer. I don't think I know what anybody's talking about right now, but that's Title typical for me. Yeah. Weaver. High number. And a Citadel and safe holds. I, mean, I don't think I can try to say any of these names. I'm going to say Fortress. Fortress. Okay. It's probably true. Mammoth Chunks. Aaron Judge. So it's mammoth meat and mermaid meat in the same family. Oh, God. I thought that might have died over the last two weeks. Can't kill the mermaid meat. There's a Robert. And an Arcia for the Brewers. Next 10, Arcia Relic. It's kind of what I was thinking, UCCF. We already got one rip box topper. Is this going to be one of those where we get two? Because they do exist. 
Williams. Uh, another bugging out silk, silk moth. Should I boop him this time? Boop. <laughs> yeah, boop a snoodle, not his midsection. Can't boop. That's Fine. more of a poke when you get his midsection. You can boop places other than the snoodle, especially on a bug. You're saying bugs have greater boop ability yes. than a snoodle? Yes. There. Especially their pudgy little bodies. So those of us with pudgy little bodies are extra boopable. Did you get booped? Yeah, you're extra boopable. Well, boop me away. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's madness. Earth's dead. High number. Black border. Ken Griffey Jr. Mini. Yeah, rules are meant to be changed. Or something like that. Yeah. Oh, Gibson. Mini. Kiner, high number. Gonzalez, black border mini. Uh, McNeil, Ginterback. All right, so what things were we saying we wanted to see? Mammoth, what? Mammoth meat. Munson, high number. Those are actually DNA relics. No, they're where monsters live. I wanted to see the Digging Deep relic. McCutcheon for the Phillies. JC Tacos. Token card. Oh, no, the, the uh, political button ones. I want to see one of those. High number fingers. Puck, get your back. For Monsters Live Mini. I've thought about that, Deadpoop. A lot of the parks around here do that. They've got stuff set up there. Door. We did it once. Yeah, it's been a long time, but... That lodge we went to. Yeah. Same one we did the archery at, which was also fun. I drank that special Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. Safari sites, safari truck. Interesting. Yeah, safari truck. That makes sense. It's just a truck, but it's, you know, safari. I thought they had to have, like, zebra print to be safari trucks. Isn't that kind of the rule? I thought that's how it worked. Another dog for the farm. Hold on a sec. I it's just realized that is a very off centered square yeah, truck. It is. Uh, horribly off. I thought maybe that was just the image, but that thing doesn't just go off road, it goes off card. <laughs> Savannah, high number. Black border Alvarez. No Brian Wilson there, dead poop. Surf and Safari. Hi, Never Tahada. Ozzy Smith, Ginterback Mini. What's up, T Dog? Hey, T Dog. Here to watch some ripping. Oh, and a Kino Mini framed relic. The pinstripe. Cincinnati Ring King. Kino mini framed relic. Uh, two rips and a topper rip so far, T-Dog. We just got going. Bela Hay. Bela Hay. Catfish Hunter, high number. Uh, get her back. Of course we ripped them. We ripped them all. Ripped them to shreds. Then we cut them up just for fun. Fly 11. High number. Merrifield. Black border. I can't make 
comments. I can't make the comments. I can't make the comments. I didn't see it. Yet. Oh. <sighs> Conseco. High number. I don't blame you, T Dog. I don't think I've ripped one of my own. Maybe once ever. I've done a few. Have I? Another farmer. Sure, you didn't. High number rains. Nine ways to first base on balls. He just called you a corgi. What? Nothing. I'd say I don't think he's watching, but apparently he was, at least earlier. Duplicate SPs, yeah. It's supposed to be very difficult to put sets together in this, so... Yay. You know, we're trying to get everybody a team set out of every case, and we are going to make every effort possible to do so. That's the picture. He's adorable. Love that one. Jules is going to sit here and bask in his glory for a while. He looks so cute! Look how happy he looks, too. It's adorable. Love it. Fox Yeah, That is a handsome man. Oh. Jeez. A means mini framed autograph. I feel like we're getting more framed autos than we usually do. Uh, Could be in my be head. Number four. And I think they said it's up to six per case this year. Nice. A little better than normal. Uh, HD Ninja. Means mini framed autograph. ACA, you are not far off. <clears throat> uh, let's see. The means, it was a... Casey High number. In a booming cities. It was a relic for the means. Full-size relic. Oh, he got signed? Traded. Tra I thought he got to, like, let go, let go. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm not keeping up with him. I'm not keeping up with the lambs. I could be wrong. I thought that someone told me that he got let go. But... Did you see the box topper one, Tim A? Cool Breeze had one, UCCF had the topper, and Edadroid had the last rip. Grace, high number. Arnado Ginterback. Yeah, I thought maybe no one cared about the nails. No one said anything. Oh, I see a Silk Robert. And uh, Johnny Bench, 6 of 10. Cincy. Ranking. I didn't see the numbering at the bottom on this yep. one. They used to put that numbering in the top corner, I thought. I, I don't remember it where it was here, but... I don't think it was there. It is a 6 of 10. Those are nice. Yeah. I can't... T yeah, it does have the little feely hole in the middle. Feely hole. <laughs> I mean, what other reason would they have to put that... Uh... Here, I'm not going to show this one at an angle. It's not damaged, but it has right where Jules' finger is. I don't... Yeah, hold right on. Right where her thumb is. Let me get the, the light on it just right. I don't see what you... Oh, there, there it is. There it is. It needs to be clean. Schmutz down there on the bottom right. Yeah. yeah it's not... Terribly. Not damaged, just needs to be uh, buffed out a little. Yeah. McGriff, high number. Yeah, the red looks really good with this. Love it. Hey, Ninja. Yep, three rips so far. Menace. Kinterback. Schmutz. Did you say that? You never listen to me. I didn't listen. Further proof that Jules never listens to me. I'm the worst. I know. Irvin. High number. Where monsters live. <laughs> so no... For Minnesota. Today. 
Don't say chat words out loud, Jules. Why? The second one I didn't say. Oh, What's okay. wrong with the first one? Nothing. I was going to say. I know sometimes you read it and you say the second one. Yeah, I did not say the second one. Okay. Mostly because I don't know what it is. Okay. So well, Therefore, we'll I've learned to not say things. I kind of hope you don't know what it is. That's... Uh, Larissa, high number. Otherwise, I'd be concerned. Goldschmidt, Ginterback. I do like flicking people when I'm irritated. That's definitely a habit of mine. Rare Monsters Live. The rips were Jake DeGrom, Jose Altuve, and Juan Soto Box Topper. Juan. You girl, high number. For, I'll, I'll try to unread that word. Thank you. Bella Hay. Apricio. High number. Pujols. Black border parallel. I think I would know how to, but obviously I'm not going to. Timmy is trying to end Jules breaks right here. He already got me riled up earlier. <clears throat> Fielder. Timmy's an instigator. I don't know, you see. I said I was going to try to unread it. Speaking about unreading and misreading. Oh, in my face. <laughs> you guys should see the look on his face. I didn't know he had a card in this. <laughs> All right, hold on. Time out. I'm going to eBay. Cranky Yankee with the Cardinals. Tell you what I misread after that. Long memorabilia card. Here, I'll tell you right now so I can go look on eBay. Okay. This uh, Austin professional skateboarder uh -huh. on the Ginter back, for whatever reason, I flipped it over and I saw professional seafooder. I was wondering why exactly. Well, there how a... do you become a seafooder? Yeah, I'm going to say, I could <laughs> sign me up. Uh, your guys' jokes are better. Anderson, I'm just not going to say anything about them out loud. Ooh, I got the market. I'm used to it, Mikey. Yeah, Arquity. like a fish thrower. Get your back. Like uh, what we saw there in Seattle. Yeah. That was so fun. That was, I think, the first time I ever had salmon, actually, I think. It's a good way to start, though, right? Fresh off the plane. Where monsters live. Lands in Seattle, and five hours later, it's in your belly. Yeah. Whatever the special salmon was, I can't remember now. Copper River? Is that what it is? Oh, no, they served you the special salmon. That was a... Uh, oh, stop it. That was just some cod. Stop. <laughs> kind of painted it pink. Stop. Ooh. We're... Okay. <laughs> just stop. We're ending this entire conversation. It's not going well. Sheffield, high number. Sean Casey, Ginter back. He's not going in a safe direction. Another silo for the farm. <laughs> so stupid. Stop. Brock. Oh, he is sweaty in that picture. Jeez. Hi, number. We'll miss Lou. Red postman butterfly for bugging out. It's pretty. I like it. What do you do? Yeah, that's very sweaty. Keeps glistening. This is another rip card. Is it? It is. It's one of those special cases. Yep. Wow. Box topper rip card. All right, guys, you got a uh, you got a <laughs> treat here. How much ripping are we gonna do in this case? <clears throat> So that's the fun thing about Topps' big mispacking goof up this year. You never know what you're going to get. I can only take so much. Well, buckle up, Buttercup. It's 
see who we got. Oh, oh he said anybody but Clemente. He specifically said rip any Anything card but except Clemente. Clemente. Well, he will love this. That's for sure. It's okay. You're safe for Nat with UCCF. You got a break. Oh, wait a minute. Did he Did he have him in this? This is uh, for GC Tacos, I believe. Is no, it? it's Golgari. It's Golgari, yeah. I'm off one. Yep. Just nope, sure. can't rip it. Yep. But he will love it. Yeah. That's awesome. Non-rippable top. Non-rippable. Well, that he'll he will love that card. Peterson, relic for the Dodgers. Mississippi. <laughs> I've got a feeling we're gonna have a lot of ripping before this night's over. It's feeling that way. Oh, uh, look at. Jeez, what they do to that? That's real one? bad. Yeah. Come on, tops. So Gonzalez, high number, and a. I almost called him a leopard. A leopard. Uh, I have no idea why I, I was, was going to say that. I was seeing professional uh, seafood slingers there earlier, so I can't mock uh, you too much. Safari Sites Mini. Man. Is it only the Safari Sites that are like that? Leopard. Mm, they're not all like that. Or is it just the long ways? Oh, the horizontal. Yeah, okay. okay. That's... That makes sense. Leo, That's why. Leopard. <laughs> it's like I forgot how to read for a minute. <clears throat> I'm just going to name them all. <laughs> There's a nice uh, Bayarn. <laughs> say it on that one. I'm going to go phonetically for all of them. Feller. <laughs> Rip the other one just for fun. McKay. Black Border Mini. Leopard. <laughs> what a weirdo. What a weirdo. Morris. High number. Zach Morris? Oh, no. Jack I Morris. went back... Um, a couple months ago, I tried to watch the college um, Saved by the Bell, like where the marry the them getting married and then going to college, and it was it's not the same. It was hard to watch. Castellanos, get your back. I am a CA. It's a struggle. <sighs> Trying to be good. Rizzuto, high number. Where Monsters Live Mini. Jules Briggs gets censored and it's tough to function. I don't think I've seen that, Dead Poop. Oh, McGuire. Oh, my face again. I didn't <clears> know that was there. Mini framed relic. All right. I'm going to have to go back to eBay. Cranky Yankee. McGuire. Mini framed relic. What are the odds? My two guys, Wong and McGuire, in this. It's pretty cool. That's wacky. Gross. The Jackie Brooks Robinson era card. No, I haven't seen that. Vaughn, high number. Uh, Ginter back. What are we saying? Oh, wrong. You're just joking. No, saying. Terry was yeah. saying there's a uh, Jackie and Brooks Robinson era card, but I have not seen that. For Monsters Live. Didn't he have a card at one point, Mikey? For whatever reason, I thought there were some poker players in one of these. Lofton high number? A couple years ago. I don't know if it was the poker brat or if it was somebody else. Nine ways to first, field of interference. Was that one that we got? Fielder interference? We had catcher interference. Ah, uh, piggy. Mikey and I are going to share a case of Razor poker cards at some point here. Going old school. I remember those days. Jones, high number. Let's got to find a case of them. Robinson, black border parallel. Uh, 
Andre Dawson does not look like a nice guy, and he is super nice. Very nice guy. UCCF would get in on that. So Johnny Chan. So Men the Master. Oh my goodness. Maybe I could do that break. All right. Uh, by all means, go for it. Howard, high number short print. Guerrero, get your back. Mini. Moneymaker, yeah. I thought he had autographs. Garber for the Twins Relic. Minnesota, Tim A. Uh, we got a new one, Garden. Apparently we have a garden on our, on our farm. We do. I pulled a Jerry Buss autograph out of that Razor Poker stuff. Sort of, mm. high number. Money maker sunglasses relic, yeah. Yeah, our fence is a little. The rabbits have like trampled it. Our deer, Helton, get your back, Minnie. Weaver, Weaver, farm. Weaver, high number. McCovey, black border, Minnie. Tim's here for the Johnny Bananas card. Yeah, this is uh, that's another trend that a lot of these cases have. They're either going to have a lot of the non-baseball cards, or they won't. And this one obviously does not have a lot of them. This is if the boopable silkworm were a building. So you know. You're saying they kind of look the same. I am saying that. Yeah. High number Perez. I guess I can kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. See. That's what it is. Jackie Robinson on the front, Brooks Robinson on the back. Number five. Huh. Keep my eyes out for that one. Mike sees it. <laughs> Caterpillar building. So yeah, as of right now, we're going to do two lots of the digging deep, two of the skyscrapers, and two of the down on the farm. So, sharing the wealth here. Gossage, high number. And a Citadel and Safe Hold. I like those two. Yeah, they're neat. I mean, production issues aside, I really do like Enter this year. It's one of my, I guess, this is probably one of the better years. Yeah, I think so too. If they could have had it packed out right, it would have been a, a top all time, but... I really, really enjoy the designs. It feels like there's a lot more Hall of Fame retired type players in the base checklist as well. I know they're always there, but it feels like it's almost 50-50 with active and... Oh, here we go. Dostremski. That's a nice one. Junior Yaz. <clears throat> uh, Jason M. Wish it had his dad on it, too. Or his grandpa. Grandpa. Yeah. yeah. Dostremski. For the Giants. Yeah, I love that. I love the mini framed autos. They look so good. Are there any dual auto cards of those two? I think by now they would have had to have done that. I have not seen them. Griff, high number. Another Booming Cities. Bowman. Pink Opal. Bill Hay. Tops now has a duel. Look those up. Servin, high number. Cano, black border mini. Do you have the box topper last on this one? Oh, I forgot about it. Thias, high number. I never set him up there. <clears throat> Apparently you do, because it's right there. I know. That's how I forgot. That's the only one. Apparently I'm doing it last. Williams, high number. We're letting it marinate. Uh, Grace, get your back. Suarez, get your back, Minnie. Might as well be. I haven't broken two weeks, and so it's like starting over with my brain. Sad but true. 
Walker High Number, Where Monsters Live, Mini, So Many Monsters, Conforto, Bat Relic for the Mets, Editroid, Conforto Memorabilia, Every week, I wish. We'll try to get some. Apricio, high number. Regular Ginter going as long as we can. Ortiz, Ginter back, mini. Where monsters live, mini. Never on Ginter. Fielder. High number. Excuse me. The Ginter doesn't count. It's the exception to the rule. Another silo. Yeah, Golgari. Um, I don't know if you care about this at all, but how about a Clemente rip card box topper? How about that? If you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> we, we went ahead and ripped it for you just so you know don't, <laughs> don't scare him <laughs> no that was the Soto we Casey. actually had two rip card box toppers in this one the young black border and they wanted to uh, rip the Soto yeah we figured you'd probably like that one since that was your one exception to the rule so yeah, made sure that one did not get ripped. This is not funny. <laughs> Grace, high number. Tell me, get your back. Yeah, very cool hit, Golgari. Sabrina. Well, oh, that one top loaded for you. We've got some of the uh, jumbo top loaders to put those in. Iron Sheffy. Yeah, four rips so far. Sheffield, high number. <coughs> yeah, well ahead of the curve on rips. So three stained glass, one red ink auto, but we are behind on non-baseball hits. It's a Robert rookie. Hanson, catcher back mini. Oh, I did? Dang, I failed. I meant to update everybody on our farm, what we're building on the farm. Uh, Brock, high number. Loriano, black border parallel. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot how much trouble Tim A likes to give me. Oh, I'm happy for you. That's awesome. That's our goal in life. Make all the customers happy. Larissa, it's definitely not make you happy. Is that no, the joke? Not me. I was just waiting for that, so I thought I'd just lay it out there. No, I was going to build to it, but you just kind of ripped the band aid off. So yep. We'll, we'll just go get over that one. We'll go with it. Okay. Chicken for the farm. A few chickens now. Micro high number. Ooh, and another bugging out. <clears throat> tree hopper. What is that? It's tree hopper. It looks like a sea creature. Kind of does look like a squiddish type. Member of the same family as thorn bugs, tree hoppers are among nature's most bizarre looking spectacles. Those are jetting heads, ant like growths on their back, and resemble. A resemblance to a fungus are among the countless varieties of these plant gobblers. Mm -hmm, plant gobbler. Well, I don't like that. It's like a like an octopus slash I don't know. Gross. We don't like that. We don't like that bug. Yeah, I guess it's not boopable. We don't like no booping. <laughs> no boops for that one. It's zero boops. <laughs> zero boops. <laughs> That's a bad bug. Acuna, 
Was our box stopper on that one? <laughs> so all I gotta get is an ugly bug that'll fire everybody up again. <laughs> this is a really creepy bug. It's worse than that the monster under the bed mini. Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna wait till last. I just set it up there so that I don't. You said you never set it up there. Yeah, but, but I, I don't know. I am. Lies, full of lies. I've decided I'm gonna start doing it for some reason. All right, let's open this up first, though. Melina, look at that, yeah. Uh, Yachty, UCCF. He is hoping for that box topper lot now. I lied. <laughs> hey, Lotto Chaco. Hey, Lotto Chaco. Segura. Relic for the Phillies. Cheesy Tacos. Segura. For some reason, he's back for more. Yeah, isn't he, the, isn't he the one we thought we ran off last time, last week? I think oh, it you, was. You've missed a lot of chaos already, Lotto. We're actually kind of simmering down here. Hippo, Safari Sights. Yeah, yo, Hip Hop Anonymous. He looks evil. The hippos are supposed to be cute. Like the hippo you want for Christmas. This is not the hippo she wanted for Christmas. This is not what she was dreaming about with her sugar plums dancing in her head. No, no booping that one either. The hippo does not get booped. Oh no, he's got a pretty boopable snoodle. No. That is a... He has the schnoz with a lot of teeth. The schnoz? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like the uh, Charmander. Or Charizard, I mean. Rizzuto, high number. Another pig. Segura, Kinterback Mini. Chickens and pigs we got in this break. Yeah, that hippo is angry. <laughs> okay. Anderson. Uh, a no number Ginter back to Hada. What? You got two of them? Was it also Ninja? No, it was Edit. They got the last one. Has to ground was the last one. This one is for Baltimore HG Ninja. To Hada, no number Ginter back mini. That's the second, I believe. Yeah, we also had a Brooklyn back. Yeah. Let's go. What? <laughs> Chris Bryant, get your back. Oh, that reminds me of a joke I cannot tell here. Uh, Hoffman, high number. Where monsters live, mini. <laughs> ACA. Uh, Gardner. For the Yankees, memorabilia, Iron Chefy. Only at Walmart. <laughs> Terrible. Jones, high number, and a Jones Gitterback. I would assume so, Lotto. Different Jones. Uh, where the monsters live, old trunk, and there's our, uh, what is it called again? I forgot what the worm's name is. Gecko worm? Yeah. We've just gotten three old trunks in a row. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of them, six. I knew that. We actually have six old trunks so far. Uh, Howard, high number. Seven old trunks. So, we're going to split these monster lots up the best we can. We're going to have two lots. We'll try to make as close as we can to a set for each, but there are going to be some duplicates, so just the way the cards are coming out. Trying to make everyone happy best we can, but blame tops. Gonzalez, high number. Gibson, black border. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at Leopard in my head now. That break is later, Brian. 
uh, Feller, high number, Bogarts, Ginter, back mini, uh, Rivera for the Yankees, mini framed relic, pinstripe, Iron Sheffy, Rivera, mini framed memorabilia. That'd be a cow. good set, UCCF. In all kinds of places. The pile. Perez. High number. San Francisco. And of course the trunk. Baseball. Brit. Kinterback. Mini. Yeah, junk drawer. I just thought, do we not have a junk drawer? I don't think so. I've thought about that many a time. Scossage. I think we have more of a junk tin in the closet where we keep all that. Well, like, the top right drawer of my dresser has a bunch of junk in it. And then the very front of our drawer in the kitchen has some pencils and pens and stuff, but no, yeah, not like have, a real junk drawer. I think the closet is more the junk closet. Fast food menus are on the refrigerator, and batteries are in a tin in the in closet. The I'm telling you, it's a junk closet. Maybe that's what it is. Vaughn, high number. Junk shelf in the closet. Menus are not junk. Good point, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Another garden. High number Lofton and a fielding error nine ways to first mini. Last box of case number one. We made it. It only took like an hour and 45 minutes. It's going to be a solid two hours. We still have a random to do and a hit recap. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a long time. But again, we know first case is always going to go slow and detailed. And we'll pick it up on the next couple. Another Kershaw for that box supper lot. Pick it up after this. I just like to enjoy my Ginter. You never know, Mike. It's you might get fave. a pile of uh, monster cards. A mini it framed. Uh, a a rays. I know you guys told me. I don't remember. He's got a very nice autograph. To me, I mean, I know you can't read it very well, but it looks nice. Minnesota Twins, Tim A. UCCF, I'm sure you can tell me again, because I don't remember. A nice little pile of autographs in this one. Yeah. What do we end up with? One, two, three. We got Good six. Good in high number. Six autos. Citadel and Safeholds, Castle. Arise. Yeah. Jewel Stubbs, love a good autograph. I try hard for her. Yeah, you have a good autograph. You can't read it either, really, that well, but it looks nice. Uh, Judge, Black Border Mini. <laughs> do I try to pronounce the names? I just look at them and sigh. That's, that's all I have to do. Ardonez? Ardonez? Yeah. Miglio Ardonez. Uh, Al Kaline, get your back mini. Every time, Tim. Every time. And then I gotta say it like 16 times in every different way possible. All right. I learned, I've been sighing a lot more lately. I think there's like three times earlier today where I was like, what is happening? <laughs> like, what, what is going on? What, what is wrong with you? It's 2020. We all get our <laughs> allocation of size per day. McGriff, get your back mini. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. Okay, good. Yeah. Blaber Torres, Alan Gitcher Mini. Is that also why I'm cranky too much? We're going to blame that on 2022, right? I just won't say it. <laughs> Weaver, uh, high number. Another trunk, Ryan. 
be everybody's getting a trunk. You get a trunk. <laughs> you get a trunk. Now creaking ants come out of them. Uh, Friedman, pitching analyst. What? It's cool. Uh, that will be in the random at the end. There's no team assigned to that. Green, high number. Oops, put that one in the wrong pile. Get your back, Ranky Mini. No, that's not. Another trunk. Everybody's getting a trunk. Oh, it's coming kind of a bummer here. Yeah, I'm excited to get all of the... What I'd like to do, and I, I don't want to guarantee it because I don't know how people would want to do that, but... Accuracy high number. If the next case has a lot of a different type of monster insert, we could try to balance them between cases to make sure everybody gets a closer to a set. But I don't know if people would be upset about that if they just get the lot and they want. Do I good in mini? Yeah, you know, most of the cards that came in the case for their lot. What are trade trucks? Yeah, don't cross the streams, but... Do like it? I mean, I don't mind doing it. Well, Foil wants to leave it as it is, so I don't know. I think for this time we'll probably have to leave it. Or we could just talk to the people who end up winning it, you know, instead. Just send them an email or something. I don't yeah. know. High number would. I mean, maybe somebody wants to have 12 trunks. I don't know. but <laughs> Hanson, Ginter back. I could ask the people who win the lots, but then I'll be sending out a ton of emails at the end of each break instead of getting these sorted. I want to get them sorted and shipped out as quick as we can. Flaherty, Relic, for the Cardinals. Cranky Yankee. It's already hard enough to get people to rank their drafts on time. I can just imagine trying to respond to a bunch of emails about trunks. <laughs> Mazeroski, high number. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to balance them out a little bit, but we'll see how the next case goes. If it's more fair, we'll leave it as is. But so Kyle Lewis. I guess if the next case has, you know, 12 staircases or something, we could try to pass them around. Tunnels. LeMayhew, Ginter back. 12 tunnels. Yeah. Jules likes the monster tunnel. That's her favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess what? Another trunk. Yeah. Jenkins high number. I don't think anyone needs eight trunks. I mean, we'll, like you said, we're not going to do anything without talking to people, but it seems kind of silly. LASIK. That's the autograph. Blackboard or mini. <laughs> I didn't get my 12 trunks. Bunning. High number. It's true, GC. I counted and there were only 11 chunks in this break. <laughs> One star. Die. High number. Well, everybody likes a good trunk. You just don't want 12 trunks. <laughs> Booming Cities Mini Dubai. Man, that's it. We made it through, guys. All right. I am going to give you these cards to set up for the hit recap, and then I'm going to do the random while you get those all laid out pretty. So let's do this. Start with the rips. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. I'm just going to put these out real quick. Oh my goodness. All right. 
Okay, so we need to do a random, which I was completely prepared for. I can tell. Completely prepared how's, for. How's that go? Yeah. Hang with me here. Yeah, look at all the cards. Okay. Now I'm ready. Okay, so as we've done on these before, we are going to use random.org to randomize the list of these extra hits. So the first thing we're going to do is take all 30 teams and randomize those eight times. Let's see all the teams are in there. So eight times to get an order. Good luck. And I believe the first 17 teams are going to get a bonus something. And number eight. Okay. Now I'm going to get our list of bonus items. So here's all the bonus items we're going to have. So we got the Rob Freeman Relic, the Mini Framed Auto, bunch of mini lots, and some full-size lots. Non-baseball minis all goes one lot in the oversized box toppers. So again, we're going to do this eight times. Number eight. So we're going to line those up with our teams. Anybody can go back and re-watch the video to make sure I'm not messing this one up. All right, so here they are laid out next to each other. Texas Rangers get Reach for the Sky lot number one. Washington Nationals and Colorado Rockies both get a monster lot. San Francisco Giants down on the farm number one. Dodgers Reach for the Sky number two. Pirates down on the farm lot number two. Cleveland Indians get the nine ways to reach first. Houston Astros, Huston Framed Mini Auto. Cardinals, Safari Sites Minis. Braves with the Buggin' Out. Royals, Citadels and Safe Holds. Tigers with the Boomin' Cities and Mini Lot. Yankees get the Box Toppers. Mariners Diggin' Deep number two. Baltimore Orioles get the non-baseball minis. Tampa Bay Rays Diggin' Deep lot number one. And the Red Sox with the Rob Freeman Relic. UCCF is giving up his monsters, so that will go to the next team, which would be the Mets. So the Mets, you're going to get monsters. Now, Dan, this is for everybody. Um, everybody gets a chance for bonus items in this one. Ed wants to pass them down to the Padres. Nobody wants the monsters. All right, Edit's passing on those. They're going to. And the Padres say, no, don't do that. <laughs> Tell you what, we will find the first hitless team on the way down and give it to them if that works for you. But in the meantime, here's a hit recap. All right, so hit recap for our case break number one. We had a couple of box topper rip cards. First was a Juan Soto. And out of that, we had a Tatis, Stained Glass, Scherzer, and Lindor. We also had a Clemente box topper rip card, which we did not rip. Uh, let me keep all that together. We got a couple of ripped cards also, a Jason DeGrom to 99, that had a red ink K autograph on the mini. We also had a Altuve to 99 ripped card that had a Soto mini. Had a red silk uh, Johnny Bench 6 of 10. For mini framed autos, we had an Arise, Stremski, Means, 
Beatty, uh, Huston, and Corbin. Mini framed relics. We had Rivera, McGuire, Aquino, Cabrera, Larkin, Harper. Regular memorabilia cards. Flaherty, Friedman, Gardner, Segura, Severino, Conforto, Garver, Peterson, uh, Wong, Sano, McCutcheon, Arcia, Frazier, Braun, Hap, Lau, Chevis, Anduar, uh, Gordon, Jansen, Estadio, Means. Some minis. We had a Ginterback no number Tejada, Ginterback no number DeGrom, and a Brooklyn Black 16 of 25 Lincecum. The minis, uh, Citadels and Safe Holds. The Safari Sights. Nine Ways to First. Booming Cities. And Bugging Out. And then we're splitting this into two lots, so you guys know. But we got quite a few of the... Trunks for everybody. Trunks, yeah. The trunks for everyone, basically. Where monsters live. 